Well, th that's not funny. Hey, what's up guys? Uh, so today for our Monday video, we're doing something a little bit different. I'm actually in New York City with Sped. Say hi, Sped. We, uh, last night, had the chance to see the Logan movie, or just Logan, it's just called Logan. We saw Logan last night, and uh, apparently, they, they think I have some great interview uh, skills. They saw my Star Wars interview and my Emma Watson interview. No one needs a party, everyone's pretty cool and, and awesome. Oh, sorry, I was gonna introduce myself, I'm Anthony, and this is Joven here. Uh, you know what? They were like, hey, we want you to interview Hugh Jackman and Patrick Stewart. So I'm like, oh, okay. I'm already pretty nervous. What we did here on Smosh Games was you just saw six weeks of Block of Love. We got this video. And the next thing you're gonna get is some GTS action. So yes, we are bringing Grand Theft Smosh back on Mondays for uh, I think uh, six weeks. We're gonna do uh, just a little teaser. It's gonna be called Rise of the Carvengers. That, that's the thing that we're doing. So keep an eye out for, did I put my jacket on inside out? Is this a, no, no, just there's no sleeve. Anyways, um, I need to come up with some questions, some questions for uh, Hugh Jackman and Patrick Stewart. So before we leave, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. I seriously, I can't put on a jacket while talking. It is physically impossible for me to put on, this isn't a bit, that's a pocket. I, okay, never mind. I don't need this jacket. I'm gonna come up with questions now. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna be real honest with you right now. Um, I think that this, this could still all be a giant rouge. Uh, is it rouge? Did I say it right? It's ruse. I, this all could be a giant ruse, um, and Ian and Anthony could be setting me up, and I'll, I'm just gonna go in there expecting huge, huge Jackman, and all of a sudden Emma Watson's gonna show up. I, I'm broken now. I have trust issues because of them. Emma Watson could just show up any time in my career, and I have to be ready for it. I should probably get questions for her. Who would win in a fight? Emma Watson or Wolverine. <laughs> Actually, I think running late, so I should probably get up, get up uh, and figure out these questions and immediately head over there. So let's do that. And maybe, maybe we can see a little bit of New York along the way. I don't know. This movie has me a little, a little broody. Logan, what did you do? Charles, the world is not the same as it was. Mutants. They're gone now. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. Hey now, you're an all star. Get your game on. Go play. Hey now, you're a rock star. Get the show on. Get. Uh, first off, congratulations on uh, playing uh, Wolverine nine times. Yeah, right. You're in a very elite group. Uh, yeah. There's only a few people have done it. Uh, Christopher Lee, C-3PO, and Godzilla. C-3PO and Godzilla, really? Yeah, that person really? that played uh, Godzilla in the suit nine yeah. times. So you're really? in a very elite group. How does that make you feel? Awesome. I mean, I, it's amazing to me that it, it, it's more than once. Even the first time was pretty wild to me. Yeah. I suppose what I'm really kind of amazed about is the that we got to make this movie. They're good. Very excited to be here. Good. This is Me Joshua too. Ovenshire of yeah. Digital Influence. Ovenshire. Yeah. Irish last name. What is it like making an R-rated Logan movie? Mate, we didn't really start with the rating. That was one conversation we had. Pretty sure it wasn't gonna be G. But <laughs> we just wanted to be open, make a great movie, have no restrictions. In, in, and that included the timeline and all this stuff. Mm. We were just like, how do we handle this character and make a great movie? Particularly for people who may have never seen one or who have no interest in seeing one. That's a really good point. Mm. Yeah. I just want to thank you for being you. You are an amazing individual that a lot of people can look up to and strive to be more like you. So thank you for that. I'm sorry. 
What? Oh, I thought there was somebody else you were talking oh, about. Oh, no, de you're definitely you. Me? Definitely you. And the curtain behind you. Uh, <laughs> the curtain's doing a great job. You're doing a better job. Thank Joshua, you for all thank that. thank you very much for that. Hugh really gets to play Old Man Logan. And you, in a way, get, well, you definitely get to play, like, Old Man Charles. Uh, what was it like finding that balance of, uh, like, humor and tragedy in playing someone with, like, a degenerative brain disease? Well, th that's not funny, no. uh, the g generative part of, of your statement. Um, but you have to keep in mind that there were 16 preceding years in which I had lived with Charles Xavier, uh, on camera, off camera, on the screen. I had a strong sense of who he was. Yeah. The, one of the first things we shot was that big scene, that first sort of five minute scene, and both of us looked at each other and went, there's more nuance in these fi this five minutes than probably the entire series before. But That's us, awesome. you know, I, the, his performance blew me away. It brought me to tears, honestly. Yeah, no, it was it was an intense performance from, from you and him. Mm. Now, speaking of it being R-rated, language is a big thing in the movie. Was it difficult keeping a straight face when Patrick Stewart starts dropping F-bombs? Uh, no, because he's a much naughtier guy than I think. <laughs> I know he's got that kind of, he's a, like an Oxford professor, and he is the cheekiest guy you'll ever meet. He is, I'm 48, I'm not going to tell you what age he is, but he's like a very mischievous 23-year-old. <laughs> and his energy is like a 16-year-old. H, you're so heavenly, I, you're the one I... It was a little jarring to see uh, uh, Charles with dropping some F-bombs. With, with that being said, uh, what is your favorite swear word? Oh, uh, my favorite swear word. You know, I think I'd rather not share it with you <laughs> because it's not that it's a swear word, but it has aspects of real offensiveness. It's a very English use of the word. And I rarely heard in America. It's, it's a, more of an English word. How would you say that you've evolved Wolverine over the years? And also, has how's Wolverine evolved Hugh over the years? I'm just as tough as Wolverine. Oh yeah, I, yeah. yeah. And I like him, it. I don't want people to know about it. I just, <laughs> you know, I just get about my business. I, I definitely, I've changed um, in that that time. This was the first movie I'd ever done in America, so it's kind of an amazing thing for me. This has been a constant throughout my entire career. In the movie, you get to go on on a epic road trip with with Wolverine and. At, Laura. Yes, and, and Laura. Is there anyone else that Charles would want to go on a road trip with in uh, in this universe? Oh, well, <laughs> I have to mention one person and one person only because he was really rather disappointed not to be in this movie, and that's Sir Ian McKellen. Of course. My, my pal and my nemesis from <laughs> the earlier X-Men movies. You, you guys have such a great relationship that I strive to, to, to try to have a relationship like that. Uh, if you can compare that friendship to any on-camera friendship, what would the comparison be? An on-camera friendship? Well, I might connect it to the relationship that Jean-Luc Picard had with Commander Riker. Nice. What kind of relationship would you say that the two of them have versus uh, you and Ian? Well, Ian and I have never actually been at the controls of a starship. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> now, over the years, uh, Wolverine's been seen in the, uh, he's been part of the Avengers, Fantastic Four, Defenders, even S.H.I.E.L.D. What group would you want to see your Wolverine join? Oh, I think I think the Avengers would be great. Obviously, um, I don't have an MBA, so <laughs> if someone could work that one out, that'd be kind of miraculous, but I think that'd be pretty awesome. Um, and then finally, uh, going back to the road trip, what would happen on a road trip with, with Professor X and Magneto? What stops would you make? Uh, would you see the giant thermometer? Would you get like the heart attack burger? <laughs> um, <clears throat> I think we would head for the Grand Canyon because I don't think he's ever seen it, Ian. Um, the awe of that natural phenomenon. So I look forward to you coming back for that movie. Actually, there is a screenplay. That's fun. And uh, is it true what they say about the size of a man's claws? Come on. Yeah. All right, brother. I really appreciate it. Good, good having you today. Thank you. Bye.
my gosh, that was awkward. If you want to see Joven be even more awkward when he interviews the cast of Star Wars The Force Awakens, click over here. And if you guys want something picked out just for you by YouTube, click over here on the right.